Well, I was I was in this very room and I was pulling the carpet back because it was you know to fix something and I punctured my finger, my uh, middle finger on my right hand with a tack you know that holds the carpet down. But two weeks later, it wasn't getting any better, and I figured, well, it's just going to take a little time and. It, that went on for about six weeks, <clears throat> and I went to see my doctor, a uh, regular doctor, family doctor, and he says, oh, well, he says, I'll cauterize that. A couple of weeks later, came back, the same thing, and what it was was uh, about the size of a pea. It was a, uh, uh, looked like a blood blister, raised and very uncomfortable, and it bled constantly. I went to a local uh, hospital that he recommended, and a surgeon, and... Uh, Went in and in a day, uh, same visit actually, so I can do that here. So he just uh, numbed my finger and he cut the piece out. Total month after he cut it out, it was right back to the same thing. And I couldn't believe it. And uh, so I went back to, to my doctor and he said, well, he said, let me set you up with uh, a surgeon down at, at Dartmouth. Dr. World said, well, the first thing we got to do is an MRI, which an MRI, you mean you go into one of those things? And he said, yeah, but he said, I got to really know what's in there. I went back after they got the results, and Dr. Warhol said that it was, it was again, the, the hemangioma, I hope I'm using the right term, uh, and uh, that it was to the bone. The day of the operation, I was very pleased, everything went well. I had total confidence in Dr. Warhol, and I wouldn't have done it if I didn't. And uh, we went, uh, I was under till, during the whole operation and said it went well. And I went back about a week and a half, two weeks later, got the stitches out, it really looked good. And uh, took about another couple of weeks and basically was back to normal. I thought, you know, hey, maybe I'm, maybe my, <laughs> I'm done playing the piano, you know. I mean, of course I could have, you know, I could sit here and do, you know, I'm playing without the middle finger. The middle finger is the most, you know, it's the most important. So, you know, I can't, I couldn't do it. It would, you know, it, was, it would be impossible to sit and play a song. I would have to say my experience at, at the hospital at Dartmouth was, was very, very positive. I felt there was concern. Uh, everybody was pleasant. I had been there once before for, for a, a hernia operation, and uh, they... I just felt that everybody cared, you know, and, and that's important. It's important to me. And then when I got to Dr. Warhol, I felt that he really, you know, was concerned and I could trust him. I'm just happy it's, it's, it's finished and it healed. That's because when you really think about it, it was almost seven months that I had this blood blister, you know, sitting on the edge of my finger that made my finger unable to use and constant bleeding. I mean, sometimes it wouldn't bleed for a day or two and then I would just maybe bump it against something and boom, it would start bleeding again. And it was sort of, it would have been an uncomfortable way to go through the rest of my life. <laughs>